How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today's video is one of all of your favourite type of videos that I do. I enjoy doing videos on 10 certain amounts of cars, for example 10 highest horsepower cars, 10 blah 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 blah, and all of you enjoy them as well. In the past I did a video on 10 surprisingly fast cars in Forza Horizon 4, which is basically 10 cars that you'd look at and you would never think they are extremely fast. So today we are doing 10 more surprisingly fast cars. I have compiled a list of 10 cars which you would look at and never ever imagine that they are one of the fastest accelerating cars in the game. Let me know which one of the 10 cars in this video are your favourite. Let's jump into it. Starting off we have the Lotus 340R. This is a surprising one. Not many people use this car, not many people drive around in it and you should because just look at this acceleration. Not many people use this car. Not many people drive around in it, and I think you all should because just have a look at how fast this car accelerates when fully upgraded. That is very fast. The acceleration from 0 to 120 in this thing is insanely quick. And you wouldn't look at it and think it is. I believe, honestly, oh, if you put this side by side with some McLarens, the F1 GT, even the Mosla and the Koenigseggs, this off the line, it would compare pretty well just because of how fast it accelerates off the line. Definitely one of my favourite cars on this list, which is why I've stuck it at the beginning. The Lotus 340R is a very surprisingly fast car. Next up is probably one of the strongest ones on the list. It is the Ford Deluxe 5 Windows Coupe. You wouldn't look at it and think that this thing is fast, but trust me, if you have this in your garage, jump in it, fully upgrade it, and it will beat some of the highest high-end hypercars in the game. I don't know why it's so fast, it just is. There are quite a lot of fast cars in Forza Horizon 4, but not many of them can still accelerate quickly past 120 miles an hour, but this definitely can. So the Ford Deluxe takes the spot as one of the most surprisingly fast cars in the game. Next up we have something similar to the first one, the BAC Mono. I don't see many people using this car, I don't even know if many people own this car. And I think it's because not everyone knows how fast it actually is. If you fully upgrade the BAC Mono, it is an absolute monster. Not only is the acceleration really good, the handling is as well. Gonna have a bit of a clip on screen right now of it accelerating, it genuinely is surprisingly fast which is the whole point of this list if any of you are into cars which don't look very fast and are quite unusual then this list is for you and the BAC mono tops the spot very nicely next up is another very strong one it's the Honda Civic RS which I believe is a DLC car this thing is insanely fast. Not only is it fast, it's also insanely slidey, but it slides pretty well. It has over 1,200 horsepower. This is probably my second favorite on this list. It is so incredibly fast, it's so incredibly light, and it slides like a fat man on a kitchen floor covered in baby oil. But as I said, more importantly, in a straight line, it is very, very fast, and will definitely give your average Koenigsegg a bit of a beating. Next up on the list is a little bit of a strange one, but I still think it deserves to be on this list, and it, that is the F-150 Gymkhana. We all know that most of the Hoonigan cars are very fast, but you wouldn't usually look at the F-150 and think that is also extremely fast, but trust me, it is. It's a lot faster than half of the other Hoonigans as well. Apart from the bit of a wheel spin, take a look at how it accelerates on the highway. It is still 
extremely fast and will give your average Koenigsegg a bit of a beating, just like the Civic RS. It's a bit weak on the top speed, but as the title says, from a standstill, it is surprisingly fast. Next up, we have a funny one. It is the Lola 1969 Hashtag 3 Penske Sunoco T70 Mark III B. I've probably said half of those things wrong, but I thought I'd read it all out just because it was sounded funny. I don't quite remember how you get this car, but it's pretty similar to the Porsche 917, and it looks very similar as well. And along, ooh, nearly crashed into him then. And along with the Porsche 917, it accelerates very, very fast as well. If you pull up aside some clueless guy in a McLaren with this, he'd think, heh, look at his old car, I'm gonna win this. No, he wouldn't. This is more than fast enough to beat most hyper and supercars in the game. Just have a look at how fast it accelerates. Definitely surprisingly fast. Although I do think I popped an engine swap on this, but nevertheless, still fun. Next up, we have a strange one, but it's pretty funny. It's been in one of my videos before. The Porsche 959 Rally. Believe it or not, this is supposed to be a rally car, but if you fully upgrade it, it has a monstrous 1,441 horsepower, and it accelerates faster than nearly every other car in the game. Because it is a rally car, and it doesn't really look like something that would accelerate monstrosity, if that's a word. That's why I popped it on this list, because as you can see on clip of the highway in a second, it accelerates very quickly. Also one of my favourite ones on this list, half of them on this list are favourites of mine. I think it has a pretty mental top speed as well, up in the 260s, even 270 miles an hour at a big push. Very, very fast, very surprising, definitely get this one. Next is the KTM Expo GT4. Now this one I kind of hesitated to put on the list because it's actually very difficult to get. And half of the point of this video is for people to see these cars and want to get them themselves because they didn't know how fast they were, which is going to be quite an issue with the GT4. Because it's an exclusive car, you'll only be able to get this off the auction house, but having a look at the screen, you can see how fast it is. You wouldn't usually think it would compare with the average Koenigsegg. And a bit of a bonus, it handles like a monster as well. It is on par with the Mosla, not quite as good, but it's still pretty good as long as you're not crashing into fences. And it keeps up that speed in the corners as well. So this KTM Expo GT4 definitely deserves to be on this list at some point as a surprisingly fast car and also surprisingly handles as well as well. Next up, bit of another strange one, it's a kind of a weak one, but it still has pretty good acceleration, and that is the Vauxhall VXR, the old 2005 one I believe. It has nearly, it has over 1,200 horsepower fully upgraded and does nearly 270 miles an hour, which you wouldn't look at this car and think it does that. I take this on the highway every now and then and just kind of mess around with people online because they don't usually believe how fast it's going to be do a bit of a launch for you on screen in a second and you'll see it is very fast and I definitely think it does deserve to be on this list at some point. Next up is probably one of the more weaker ones on the list but I feel like I want to include it. It's the Corvette Z06. It's definitely one of the slowest cars on this list but it is still technically classed as very fast. You don't need to engine swap this car, all you need to do is fully upgrade it. And this thing is very, very quick. It will pull 230 to 250 miles an hour. And even the acceleration off the line is also quite impressive. But as I said, compared to the other ones, it's sort of the weaker one. But we need to give some love to the Corvettes like this. They can be very, very fast. So although it's a weaker one, the Corvette Z06 fully upgraded is still surprisingly fast. But there we are guys, that is my new... But there we are guys, those are my 10 new, more surprisingly fast cars. 
there's even more cars which I couldn't even fit onto this extra list that I did compared to my other 10 cars, but I had to pick carefully these 10 cars for this video. But let me know in the comment section below if you know any cars which are just very surprisingly fast, like the 10 in this video. And if you're the type of person to like to jump in cars which don't look as fast as they actually are, then this list is spot on for you. Feel free to suggest any type of videos similar to this or the same as this in the comment section below because I really enjoy doing these ones and all of you enjoy watching them, I can tell from the amount of views they get. We're slowly creeping up on 100,000 subscribers. I'm taking it steady there. I don't want to milk loads of really good video ideas I have and get to 100k and then kind of be stuck. I want to take my time and get there. Anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all in the next video.